So I'm making this video after we had some requests from people wondering how Popfly and Facebook work together. And I'm going to start off by showing you first how to use the Facebook block. So this is taking data from Facebook and bringing it into Popfly, making some sort of cool mashup with it, and then from there you can post it to your website or maybe back to Facebook. And we'll get to that in the second part. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for the Facebook block in the blocks list. And just typing face, that'll bring it up to the top here. And I'm going to drag this onto the mashup design area. And as that loads up, you're going to see a message every time you first load this block. And it says, during preview, you're going to see Potfly's Facebook information. So the reason why we're doing this is because some blocks, you need to have a key to uh, get to the information. And we wanted to give you a chance to play with this block, actually preview it without necessarily having to enter your own key. So we made an actual little Facebook account for Potfly. And you can you know, go be friends with it if you want. So click OK. And you should get this Facebook block. And I'm going to zoom in here. There are a number of operations that we have for this one. You can get your friends, so just a list of friends, photos of them, uh, your user information, or user information for a particular user, uh, photos of yourself, so anything that's tagged as being you, uh, get particular photos, whether they're uh, from a, a particular album or with a particular person in them. You can get all the photo albums for a user, or you can get all the groups that somebody belongs to. So I'm going to, let's start off, let's say I want to show photos of my friends in one of the cool photo displays that we have in Popfly. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's do uh, get friends. Yeah, I'm going to show pictures of all my friends. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here and let's find a cool display here. Let's see, we've got photo stack, photo tiles, actually carousel. Let's do carousel. And drag that onto the mashup design surface and that's going to load up in the background so you get a bit of a preview. And I'm going to connect the Facebook block to the carousel block. And let's go to preview and we should see, so this is going to be Potfly's uh, friends in Facebook showing up on the carousel. So forgive my uh, internet connection is going a little slow today, but actually this is getting better. Okay, so we can play with this. It's kind of cool. You can customize this a little bit more. I'm not going to get into that too much with this video. Uh, yeah, just kind of a, just a fun way of showing pictures here. And so before I can save my work, because this is, you know, it's a pretty cool mashup. I'm happy with this. I need to get a developer key. And you can tell if you need a developer key for a block. If you see this red missing key notice underneath the block, so for example, Facebook needs a, needs a key, but the carousel block doesn't. So to get a key, uh, click on that link, and you'll get a little pop-up uh, dialog here, and you'll have instructions for whatever website, uh, what, what they need you to do. So a little bit of background on this. Sometimes a website, they need you to agree to their terms of use before you can use their data, in some, whether it's something like Popfly or a different application. And so what you'll do is you'll read their terms of use, agree to it, and you get a developer key, or in this case for Facebook, they call it a one-time code. So I'm going to click here and just open it up in a new web browser window here. And you should get a page, something like this. You might have to log in. I'm already logged into Facebook on another tab here. And generate a one-time code that we can give to Potfly Mashup. So it knows that it's us and, and that we've logged in and said OK. So I'm going to click Generate here. And I get this little code. I'm just going to copy it. And I'll just paste it here. And click up, uh, pardon me, update. And OK, so our keys have been updated. And now it turns green. So we've got the key, and that's going to be saved in Potfly. So you don't have to enter that again. And now I can save my mashup. So I'll say Suzanne uh, Facebook Friends Carousel. 
I hope I spelled that right. It's not a terribly imaginative name. Accept and save. And while that saves, I'll just wait here. Okay, good. So we saw it before with Popfly's information. And so anytime I'm in, the, I'm in the preview area, so in this mashup design surface, I'm always going to see Popfly's friends information. But if I go to my projects and I go find my Suzanne Facebook friend carousel one here, and I actually run it from here, I'll see my friends. So just to prove that, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab and that should load up here. And, uh, and it's just because it's going to be using that developer key that I put in. And again, the internet connection's being a little slow. We'll let that load up here. And it should be running. Okay, so now it's getting the pictures, getting the friends. Or at least it better be. Wait, that's a bug. Oh, no, it worked. Oh yeah, it's an alpha, so I always hold my breath at some points, but this should have worked, and it did. Okay, so these are these are my Facebook friends, and pretty cool. I've got my, my super awesome mashup here, so 